Hi everybody, I'm Zilla Blitz and welcome to another episode of Car Mechanic Simulator 2021. Now you're maybe noticing that it doesn't look like our garage in the background here. The reason is we hit level five in a previous episode and once that happens, you can unlock the junkyard. One of my questions was is, what do you do at a junkyard at level five? Because everything I've read about it says that you go there, you can find really cheap cars and then buy them and fix them up and buy some parts and fix the parts up. But I don't think we have any of those capabilities yet because our garage isn't good enough. So the question is, can we buy stuff here and kind of flip it and fix it, flip it for a profit? I don't know. And I didn't really want to try it, but I accidentally clicked the button and we ended up here. Now you might think, well, what's the big deal? Well, it costs 500 credits to get here. I don't know why going to the junkyard is so expensive in this world. It just is. So I thought, oh, what the heck? Let's just see if at level five we can come here. We can look through the scrap heaps and pick up some parts and stuff like that. Maybe find some things that we can then flip and try to make some money on. I don't think we can at level five, but we'll give it a try. Now, a lot of this is at the junkyard. I think what you do is you come over here to these piles of junk and then you just click on them and you look through them and you get all these like orange and red stuff. I think we can fix the orange stuff, but we don't have the skills. So I don't think it makes sense to, to fix that. And we've got these doors and lights and rims and stuff like that. But I don't know what we can fix and what we can't fix. I don't think it makes sense to buy this stuff. So we're going to kind of poke around here. I'll just kind of go through a little bit. Here's another junk pile. Looking for things that might be yellow, I think, or red. I think eventually at orange, we could probably buy these things and fix them. Like this door, maybe. But I think this is just a big bunch of junk right now. But anyway, we'll, uh, we're going to poke around here, see if we find something. I'll uh, come back as we find good stuff, because I don't think it's going to be too interesting to kind of wade through all these different piles. This is a big place. It goes way over there. So we're going to be here a little while. Here is a, whoops, a water pump. We just added that to our cart here. 64%. I think maybe we could use that. So... I don't know we'll close out of that we'll get that there somewhere in here should be a scrap heap as well so we'll just keep looking that junk yep all right nothing here i think eventually when we get body parts welding and stuff like that we could do it. maybe we could find a really cheap car apparently every time you come here the stock changes and you can get some pretty good deals but we'll keep poking around all right we'll take that fender i guess Okay, I found this truck and we can actually do an examination of it so we can get a lot of experience here doing this, which is not necessarily worthless here. So we'll kind of play around and kind of examine this truck. Maybe there's some pieces we can take off of it. So this is kind of cool. We can look at all these different parts and if we right click on it, we can do buy car and it tells us all the information about this. Does, does it cost 9,000? That's how much money we have is 9,900. I don't know if we can buy it. It doesn't really tell us that much about it here. And I don't see a price. This tells you all the parts and their condition. This is pretty bad. And considering we'd have to buy all this stuff, buying commission, they want 6,000 for this van. Hmm. Do you think we could fix it and fix like the brakes and stuff? Do the stuff we can fix and then sell it part of it? Boy, that'd be risky. But we could buy it for 5,000. 6,000, we'd have 3,000, almost 4,000 for parts. Buying commission, it's a Bolt Cargo, 1995. Uh, I wish we had an extra bay in the garage because then we'd have another place to put it. I'm just gonna kind of keep an eye on that one. Maybe we'll take a risk and see. I mean, we could possibly go wrong. Anyway, we'll keep looking through junk piles and see if there's anything else interesting out here. Wow, here's a perfect Pagani Zonda Revolution windshield. That's pretty good, 91%. This engine cover? Take that? Sure. I feel like we can just maybe sell those straight up for a profit, but maybe I don't know what I'm doing. Actually, no, I don't know what I'm doing. That's for sure. Nothing in this pile, but who knows? What's the worst could happen? We could go bankrupt, I suppose, but... Oh, look at this. Delray Winchester trunk. Huh. Nice. Throw that in the cart. Bottom suspension arm. 73%. Sure. Throw that in the cart. Right, I found another junker, and just by extension, expending, uh, examining it, we got up to level six. So we're picking up some experience points here. I mean, it's kind of feel like five hundred dollars to five hundred credits just to visit the junkyard. It's kind of pricey, but we'll play around with it. We're having a good time here. So for this 1965 Luxor Bone, they want seven thousand five hundred. But as I look at all the parts here, where was it? The parts list here. If we look here, 
Um, right here. Right here. Here we are. This is a lot of stuff that isn't here. I don't feel like that's a good idea to get this one. So we're definitely not getting this one. I'd be more inclined to get that van back over there. But we're going to poke around a little bit more. I think I read somewhere that there's three cars in the junkyard here. We have found a decent amount. If we look at our cart here. Decent amount of yellow and green parts that I think we can just sell and maybe get our 500 credits back or perhaps even make a little profit. But I think to really make money out here, you kind of need to be able to fix some of these parts. And we're not close there. And I'm kind of lost. I don't really know where we are. This looks like a car, but it's not. Anyway. Wow, this looks like a find. Olsen Grand Club rear door left 98%. It's in perfect condition. Buy that. Ooh, Katagiri Katsumoto front bumper, 94%. Big finds. I feel like I'm picking the garbage. I kind of, well, we kind of are, I guess. Nothing there. <gasps> Water pump, 85%. Windshield, 64%. What's a 64% windshield? Isn't that still kind of broken? So we found this one. This is a fourth car here. And if we look at it, it is a 1965 Bolt Cape Mark IV for 5,800 credits. That's tempting. But I still think we need to be able to do more with our cars before it makes sense to kind of buy one of these. So and there's a lot of things we need to put on. We need to do body work too. And I just don't think we have the parts, the capability to build things. And we haven't done any... Excuse me, haven't done any body work yet, so I'm not sure that it it makes sense to... I mean, if you know, maybe let me know down in the comments. Could we kind of partially turn this around? But it looks like we got to put in pistons, shocks, and the suspension stuff. But it'd be fun to really do one of these restoration projects. I'm just not sure with the one bay that we're ready to do that yet. I think we need a second bay. I think we need more skills, and we need a, like a repair bench where we can start repairing some of these parts. But... If we do look here and we say return to the garage, this is all the stuff we've filled up into the cart, which is 2,400 credits. We get a discount of 5%. 2,358 credits. Everything that I found in the, in the junkyard that was yellow or green. The question is, if we buy this for 2,400 credits and we add in our kind of 500 to get here, that's like 2,900 credits. Could we sell this for more than 2,900 credits? That's the big question. I think this is worth a little bit of a kind of a challenge anyway. And I think the junkyard restocks every time we come back. So it's not that big of a deal. And I mean, if we lose a thousand credits to kind of get the answer to this question, that's OK, right? So let's uh, let's do this experiment here. We're going to go in. I'm going to pass on buying a car just because I feel like we're not quite ready for it. We're going to return to the garage. We threw everything in here that was yellow or green. And we're going to buy all these parts for 2,500. So the question is, we left for the junkyard with 10,400 credits. We're going to buy all these parts. We're going back to the, to the garage now. And if we just sell the parts, I wonder how much we can get for them. All right, here's the moment of truth. Inventory. This is all the stuff that's in here. I had, we had that oil filter from before. So if we sell the parts, we're going to just sell everything. Well, wait, wait, wait. I'm going to think about this. Hang on one second. Yeah. All right. We're just going to sell them all rather than kind of putz through them one at a time here. We're going to do V sell parts. We're going to sell everything and just sell it and see what we get. 10,184. So our whole trip to the junkyard ending us costing us about 216 credits. So that didn't seem to work that well. Buying everything yellow, buying everything green, selling it and trying to make money by going to the junkyard. Unless we bought more parts, but yeah. But we got a lot of experience, 132 experience, so that was worth it. Anyway, let's uh, jump. I'm not sure we're going to make that. Yeah, let's jump in now and see if we can fix up something. Let's do an order, make some money here. I want to do the Hinata Moon Sunrise, but I feel like our trip to the junkyard's taken a little bit of time. So instead, let's get something fast here. Brake system, other tasks. Katagiri Tamago, knocking sound from the suspension, sloppy car steering. Poor brake performance, lacroy fret. Poor brake performance, other tasks. Let's take this Nissan 370Z Mismo in, huh? Let's do this one. We're gonna take that order in. All right, and well, this is a nice car. Let's get this one right into the 
first car lift and let's do a little bit of work on it so what do we got here Are they telling us what we need we need brakes brake disc brake ventilated other task refill brake fluid it is all brake stuff and not really big brake stuff so we got both fronts and the rear one looks like it needs to be done let's get this up on the jacks here and get this one going this is a pretty car so it looks like we have to kind of level up, make some more money. I mean, we have enough money to upgrade our garage because we have 10,180 credits right now. But I want to get about 12,000 so we have a little bit extra to kind of buy parts on jobs and stuff like that. Because it wouldn't make sense to not have any money. I'm not sure how the game handles negative cash flow. Like if you have a chance at all to, can you, if you have 100 credits, can you buy the parts and then still do the work? Or do you just have to kind of partially do it? Take the brake caliper off. I think the caliper is good, right? All right? Brake pad is bad, I think, right? Yeah, 10%. This brake disc is bad. All right, so let's get in here and buy these things. We need to put that on the shopping list, that on the shopping list. Let's go buy these things. Tablet, car parts, car shopping list. Well, we got a lot of stuff here. Brake disc ventilated. We're going to need two of those, I think, because the other side's bad, too. So we'll buy two of those. Other shopping list brake pads. Where are they? There. I think we needed two of those as well. Let's just get two. We can always use them later. We're gonna buy those parts. Let's kick out of that. Let us uh, go into that. I'm just gonna clear our shopping list, then we'll be right back. All right, that's one done. Let's come over here and get started on the second one. Nice, easy job here. So yeah, those are things I'm wondering about. Like, can you go in and how do you make money out of the junkyard at a low level? And, if you can get there at level five, it makes me feel like you could do something there to kind of make money off of it. But unless it's buy a car for like 6,000 credits and kind of partially repair it maybe and then sell it for a little bit more. I'm not quite sure how that works. That might be the next thing to try. But yeah, hmm, maybe we'll try that next game, next start, next round or so. Let's put the ventilated pad on there, disc on there. Let's put the brake pad on. All right, and let's put the calipers on. Whoops, calipers go on. Quick click. All right, get those bolts in. I am definitely very excited. I, well, I'm kind of excited about a lot of things. I want to get into the uh, auto body repair. Uh, so I'd like to get that welder, which I think is 5,000. Then we can start fixing body parts, and removing rust and stuff like that, which would be kind of cool. Let's go check this rear brake. Now, one of these discs is bad. One of the brakes might be okay. That's the bad one. I can see it's rusted already. So we'll take this one off. That would be fun, but I think my dream is really to kind of go to the junkyard and get one of those cars that's just a big bucket of bolts and then be able to build it up into something that's really cool. And from what I was looking at stuff, it looks like you can kind of rate increase the level or the quality of parts to from no stars to one star to, to all the way up to, I think, three star parts. Those brake pads are okay. This disc is bad, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, 29%. Let's go buy a new one. That brake disc. Go in here and buy a brake disc. Open our shopping list. Brake disc. Buy part. Let's put this on. There we go. Get that on. Get the brake pads on, which were okay, right? And the caliper. Pretty sure this is how long it takes to do brakes in real life, too. About 10 seconds, but what about a minute per wheel? <laughs> Pretty fast. It also is funny how nothing ever, I don't, every time, I, I've done brakes on cars a couple times. And it wasn't pretty. It was very hard. It took me a long time. I didn't know what I was doing for one thing. How are we doing on this car here? Our, let's take a look here. We got all the brakes done. Other tasks, uh, refill the brake fluid. So let's get her down. Pretty quick job here, just to end up the episode. But if you have ideas on how to use the junkyard well, I'd appreciate hearing them because I confess I don't, quite know what to do there yet like what should I be looking for to kind of um, make money if you would while we're at this level because my feeling was if we got a car in it would be stuck on our only lift I mean I suppose we could park it and move it someplace else but it'd be nice to have two lifts one where we could keep a car we were working on and then one for these kind of orders to make money so that way our cash kind of income our income flow wouldn't get stuck right um, one thing I'm going to do here while we do have this one in here, we'll turn the hood down. I am going to run the diagnostics on it, so we'll be right back. All right, so here we are. Brake discs done. Other tasks, brake fluid refilled. We are all set to return this one to the customer. Let's uh, let's turn this one in here. Finish order. Ka-ching. We're up to 10,384. So we started this episode 
with 10,400. So we've lost 16 credits, but we did gain a lot of experience at the junkyard. And I feel like we tested something, right? And if you do have ideas for how we can use the break the junkyard well at this early level, level five, level six, I'd be interested to hear it down below in the comments. If you could kind of give me some guidance, that would be great. Because they're actually, I spent probably a good half an hour looking on the internet for information. I couldn't really see something that was helpful for this early level. And maybe it makes sense to buy one of those cars. I'm not quite sure. But anyway, uh, more stuff learned, more stuff played around with. We made our first trip to the junkyard in this episode. And we did a quick break job at the end to get us some money. I think I'm going to do a couple more regular jobs. And in the next episode, we're going to come back and do that Hinata Moon, that story uh, job that'll come in. So we'll see you again for that one. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you've enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, please consider subscribing. And we'll see you again in the next episode. Take care, everybody. Have a great day.